Hi, it's Ed Butowski. So there's a lot of discussion about the debt ceiling. And I wanna talk about this because I wanna show you what it means to you specifically and how it impacts your life. Because right now it's just a headline and you've read about this from time to time about how the United States has to raise its debt ceiling. But we're at a really crucial point right now. So I wanna show you that right now our debt is at $3.4 trillion. And again, that's just a huge number. Our federal spending, if you can see it right here, we're at $6 trillion and our federal revenue is at 4.6. So that brings us to a budget deficit of $1.4 trillion. That means we're spending $1.4 trillion more dollars than what we're bringing in. At the end of the year or at the end of the uh, fiscal year for the government, that number is gonna be added to the national debt. So again, we spend way too much money. And it's also important to remember that the only way the United States brings in revenue or income is from taxes. And we spend a tremendous amount of money. This is the uh, US debt clock, and it's, it's a wonderful uh, place to go uh, if you're interested in this kind of stuff. But let me go over here now and share with you that, again, the debt is 3.4 trillion and the debt is long-term debt. This is debt that we have sold uh, to other countries and individuals. This is money that we have borrowed and we have to pay it back with interest. And that interest rate goes up as the economy, uh, you know, because interest rates have gone up recently, how much we pay on that has gone higher. And then the deficit is what we're short this year. So to put it in perspective, if we pay four and a half percent which we are about right now, on $31 trillion, that equals $1.4 trillion. So that's a similar number than what our deficit is, but this is the interest that we pay, and that equals about a third of what we bring in in tax revenue. So think about that. We're paying about a third of what we bring in in tax revenue just on interest on the debt that we have. So and now if we were to default on our debt, meaning we could not pay it, our interest rate would go much higher. And that would be a huge burden on everybody and everything in this country and the world would literally come to a standstill if the United States defaulted on its debt. So the discussion about us defaulting on our debt is kind of a ridiculous thing. But we have to, in between these discussions, cut our spending to get this under control. Because if in fact our debt did go, or if we did default on our debt, and let's say interest went from four and a half to seven, I just threw out that number seven, although it would probably be higher than that, uh, 7%, uh, 31 trillion would equal 2.1. That would be about half of what we bring in in tax revenue. So that means that we don't have enough money to fund our government, military, police, social programs, and the only way that our country brings in income is from tax revenue. So we either have to get the economy going really strong and simultaneously cut spending. And the question is, where are you gonna cut it? Everybody just wants to spend more and more money. And we are at 120% of our GDP, meaning our debt to GDP is 120%. And if you were to look at, in fact, let me go over here a second. If you were to look here, this shows 94%, but um, if you add in uh, our state and local governments, it's at 120%. And you can see Japan is at 296%. So their national debt is 13 trillion, and they only bring in $4 trillion in terms of gross domestic product. So you, you can see that these countries are really, you know, like Greece is 225%, but it's only a matter of time before we start to get you know, to that point where our economy just can't function and everything is stagnant. So again, this has a major impact on your credit card bills because if interest, if we default on our debt, interest rates are gonna go sky high. Everything is gonna become incredibly overpriced. So it's a subject that you need to pay attention to and I'm happy to talk about it at any time with you. Thanks for your time.